Hello and greetings everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So it's Thursday night and we're about to do an episode of What's New. And for those of you who don't know what that's about, What's New is every week I choose an album that's come out in the year that we're in now. In this case, it's 2024. Um, so every album that will be done on this will be from 2024. So the album I've chosen to do this week was one that came out about a week, about a week ago, I believe. It's called, it's by a band called Mesa Verde, and the album is All Is Well. Now this is a Norwegian, uh, prog band of sorts. Um, the album itself was released on... January the 19th, 2024, was recorded at their home studio in um, Oslo, Norway, um, and it's on a pollen label. Apollon, I believe that's how you pronounce it. So, and appearing on the album, of course, um, the four musicians, Jorgen Ludkevem, uh, vocals and keys, or keyboards, and probably synthesizers as well, I assume, they didn't say anything, but... I assume he's doing that. Uh, Jorgen, Jorgen Apnes on drums and vibraphone. Lars Frederlid on bass and Henrik Schmidt on guitars. So this is a Norwegian band, of course. The style of this music, uh, uh, I, it took me about three or four tracks of listening. Like I listened to the first three or four tracks and I still wasn't quite sure this was prog. It does have a lot of prog elements to it. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of prog here. It's just that it's very different than a lot of prog that you used to. But that's that's really good prog, right? Because the problem with progressive rock now is that it isn't really all that progressive anymore. It's just people doing the same things that people did 50, 60 years ago. But this is this is quite different. There's, there's some interesting stuff going on on this album. So the band, I would say this band falls within that prog. That de generally falls within the prog theater, but also they've got a little bit of that indie rock kind of music going on here as well. It's kind of poppy at times, a little bit soft. Not not a hard driving. It's definitely not prog metal, that's for sure. Um, some some good... I, I enjoyed it. it. It kind of grew on me as I listened to it. This is kind of the same thing. There's some bands I initially... I have a hard time following where they're going and what, what's going on with them or what they are. And so I'm kind of on the fence about them a lot of times, especially at the beginning. But this one kind of grew on me as the time went by. So, I uh, will need my glasses because I did make a few notes about it that I wanted to talk about the album itself. So, many of you have probably seen this, Two Deer Stags. Um, big, bright orange kind of tree. I think it's orange. can't remember. Anyways, uh, I've been looking at getting the album. Um, possibly, I have uh, been trying to order some stuff through Laser CD and uh, had a little bit of an issue with my... Uh, address with my bank. I don't think they've processed my address properly yet. So um, as soon as I am able to, this might be an album that I'm considering getting. So the vocals on this are kind of different. He, he kind of a mid-range vocal. So he does have a kind of medium sounding, probably almost tenor, maybe a little bit less than tenor sounding voice. But it, it can go up to almost a high tenor at times too as well. Um, it's a very slow and melodic voice, as the music is. So it fits the music fairly well, I think. Um, but it's almost to that point where it's 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 like the Jethro Tull albums, the last couple out. He's singing, but it's almost speaking. It's a, like a speaking singing. I don't know what else you would call it. I've heard this a few different vocalists do this, but um, Ian Anderson's the one that comes to mind now because of the way his voice has gone over the last few decade or so um it's it it falls within that kind of sound system where it's almost a speaking part this guy's a little bit more on the singing side than than uh, ian anderson is but definitely falls within that range 
Uh, the guitars on here aren't overly used. There, there is a fair bit of guitar, but um, it's low key. It's it it has its parts where you can clearly tell that it's it's driving for that kind of edgy sound, but um, never really kind of over the top at all. And in, in any at any time, the acoustic part is um, not used as much. But there's a couple of songs. The one song that comes to mind is called Eyes. Quite a bit of um, acoustic on this starts out with kind of almost a folky sound and then gets kind of a lot more heavy acoustic sound to it as the, as the song goes along. Uh, the electric guitars, of course, are that they they're there. You hear them going on. It's kind of a picking sound, though. It's um, I guess it's a bit of a melody, but it's a little bit of that picking noise uh, where he's just picking. It's strumming. It's not really. Um, I wouldn't call it a rift at all, and I certainly wouldn't call it a solo. It definitely falls somewhere in between. So it's, it's a bit of an abundance of that picking sound on this album as well. Um, the music overall is fairly mellow, um, at times almost folky, but not not to the point where it's pastoral. I wouldn't call it that at all. The keys and synthesizers on this album create that kind of the background atmosphere so that it doesn't sound uh too 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 um what's the word um too hollow i guess might be a word like there's it's there's no gaps in it it's it fills in the gaps nice that that synthesizer keyboard part at times it's almost there's a couple of songs where it's almost kind of a spacey sound to it then you've got um the overall rhythm section is pretty predominant or pretty dominant pretty predominant on this album it's not overpowering but it clearly is the up front where you can hear the bass and the drums keeping that rhythm and keeping that melody going all throughout most of the tracks um yeah it's kind of a i would say this is a kind of a really slow melodic almost but yeah, almost to the point of pastoral, but not not in that range. Like just outside of it, more on the heavier side, I guess. Uh, very um, very strong melodies. Lots of great melodies on this. Um, um, so uh, I read that there's people call this kind of a marriage between King Crimson and Yes. Uh, I hear a little bit of the Yes stuff, more of the modern Yes, like the last couple of albums where it's kind of in that same range it's kind of almost like elevator music it's at points but i know that that term elevator music kind of gives a negative incantation which isn't my intent it's the music itself is good it's just in that same kind of volume set i guess might be the best way to put it um the drums and the solos are sometimes uh, actually skip the drum part the guitar part here at, at points and times has got a little harshness to it a little bit of a bite and it kind of reminds me of Robert Fripp so that part I can see why people might think there's some King Crimson here um, definitely a little bit of hints of a lot of different bands here but I don't hear this band as being a copy of anything at all this this band is pretty unique it's different it, I Nothing really comes to mind when I hear them. So you're, you're kind of grasping a little bit at straws to try to find something that um, you can sink your teeth into and say, yeah, they're definitely like this band or definitely like that band. I, I don't see that here. I hear hints of it, hints here and there of this and that, but nothing nothing that makes me want to say they're like that. They're, they're very different, I think. Um, so I'm just going to go over a couple of the tracks, not overly um yeah so the opening track pretty much has everything that i talked about on this a little bit of that spoken kind of vocal part lots of keyboards um the the keyboards well subdued mean meaning they're quiet like everything else everything on the album has got that quiet edge to it these are pretty dominant pretty pretty uh forward in the music as well uh, and the guitar has that kind of part that I was talking about where it's um, 
that Robert Fripp kind of screeching sound that he like, well, I wouldn't, I, I guess screeching is probably not the right word. That scraping sound might be a better time, but harsh. It's a harsh guitar sound at, at points, but it's, it's toned down a lot, unlike King Crimson, where it's forward and at the front. This is toned and put in the back a little bit, so it's not as, not as dominating as you might expect and not as predominant either. Um, there's a couple songs I did want to talk about. Um, these are the two better songs on the album, I think. Uh, Picking for the Beast. This is a heavy, pretty heavy rhythm section and very forward sounding. Uh, real catchy, actually, I, th I think. The keyboards and the synthesizers are, are very atmospheric, doing what I said they were do earlier, keeping uh, the sound from s sounding like it's separated and hollow almost. It's it's definitely giving a strength to the background part of it. Um, and the guitar part is that sharp kind of Robert Fripp sounding guitar to it, but ve definitely backgroundish, not nearly as forward as you might find Robert Fripp doing. And it's got a kind of an up, catchy, upbeat. And uh, yeah, I like this song the best too. I think it's the best song on the album. I uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I actually played this. This was the one track I played twice just because I wanted to hear the things that I liked the most about it. Uh, the next song is Eyes, which I mentioned when I was talking earlier about um, uh, the guitar parts here. Uh, so this song, it's got that acoustic guitar, almost folky sound to it, where it's just like really mellow. And then it does, um, it does pick up so that you get uh, towards the middle of the song, you get almost a strumming, uh, kind of a heavy guitar, acoustic guitar sound to it. Uh, one of the heavier parts of the album, to be honest with you. Uh, the vocals, there's Twin. Now, I don't know if there's two different guys singing or he's just doing overdubs. It's probably just overdubs, I'm assuming. And it's got this kind of raw sound to it. that doesn't sound like it's being filtered. doesn't sound like it's um, being whatever they call that, where they sync it. Um, I don't think it has any of that to it. It's just a raw sound. It sounds like some guys playing some music and a couple of guys singing, and it's not the music's not overbearing, so that the vocals are clear. Got a real pastoral sound to it almost. And then again, it's a very uh, very close to that speaking vocal type. And in his case, he's not as much of that as I've heard other artists do. But he's almost to that to that point where he's doing it. But he's not quite there. He's still singing, but it's almost speaking. Anyways, it's a it's a it's a really good album. Um, it grows on you if you like more mellow, more um, um, like a trespass sound. Although this doesn't sound like trespass at all, but that range of music sound where it's more mellow, more quiet, more pastoral more um, uh, slower paced. If you like that kind of stuff, you'll like this album. It'll grow on you. Uh, so if you're listening to it and you get a couple of songs in, you think, I don't know about this or not, just just keep going. It'll it'll pick up and then you'll say, wow, this is actually quite good. And that's what I feel about it. That's, that's my bottom take on it is I think it's quite good. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of What's New please hit the like and subscription button. That's much appreciated. Hit the notification bell if you want to be reminded of this content. And if you got any comments about this band, this is actually my first experience with this band. So if you have any comments about them, put them in the comment section below. Um, I actually got... Uh, I, I seen a couple of other uh, YouTube sites talking about this album, or not this album, but this band. I don't think it was the album. I think it was the other album. I think they have two albums. One of them, uh, the earlier, yeah. I think that's what it was. And uh, I decided that, you know what? I'll give these guys a try. They've got an album that's just come out. Let's 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 go and do it. So, yeah, so new to me, but um, definitely an interesting band. So I hope to see you next week with what's new. Uh, a couple of uh, important announcements just before we go. So next next week, we'll be doing another episode of what's new. Also, next week, I'll be going back to doing my This Week, which I was doing for a long period of time and kind of 
ditched it for a while because I wanted to um, I wanted to um, try and talk about the albums at the end like I'm doing now instead of doing that but I just find it unless you're a hundred percent on the ball you forget to talk about stuff and then people miss about that so at least when you do when I did this week even though it was sometimes getting too long and too involved which was part of the reason why I did away with it um, always I never I didn't forget much and, and people always knew what was coming up and so I think I'm gonna go back to it I'm just gonna try to tone it down a bit that's all so anyways I hope you've enjoyed this episode and we will see you on uh, next Thursday for the next episode of what's new coming up uh, almost immediately on the weekend other than the series that's going on the mini series that's going on in the mornings of the black my masterpiece albums featuring black sabbath we also have um ex exploring the uh, prog verse which will be featuring G uh, gentle giant uh, i've been listening to the albums all week long so i'm getting ready for it and then of course the final episode of the kiss the originals mini series that i've been doing one every sunday kind of kind of filling in for ben's album challenge so um so i hope to uh see you on those episodes and we will talk to you later so have yourself a good night and take care goodbye